Hi, I'm Kent and I'm going to show you the Antares gloves and the PSI dry glove system. I've used the Antares for quite a few years now. Mm, I've had multiple love-hate relationships with these gloves and the reason why, it, there's a couple reasons obviously as a dry suit, dry glove, your hands get wet, you don't like them. One of the other problems that I've had is um, when you go to take the glove off, you need to be able to give a twist and a flex to break the tabs. Sometimes I've had issues with it not coming off very easily. Uh, the other things that I've had problems with is when I'm putting my glove on and sometimes I have, I vary the size or the thickness of the glove I wear underneath for warmth depending on the type of year and when you push in your glove comes off from this retaining ring for the suit or the re retaining ring that attaches to the suit okay so once that happens it's a it delays getting into the water with the uh, putting the glove back on and typically once that starts to happen I've found that in the cuff for the glove, um, if you can see it, the where they have these scallops or the cutaway parts on the glove side, you're going to find that it's cracked in there somewhere. Sometimes it's not so obvious, sometimes it's very obvious. The other problem, they're plastic. So these side tabs that are what locks the glove to the suit, they will break off if you're not careful. Now, by no means am I hard with my dive gear. Well, my dry gloves, they get put into this container um, to protect them when I'm traveling or when my dive gear is sitting. And I, they still break. I have replaced three sets of these now. And this last vacation I went on, I got soaked through and through. Ended up just taping marigold gloves onto my dry suit to have dry hands. So, the quest for new rings and gloves came about. In looking around, popular glove sets are Kirby. Um, they still seem to be a plastic ring. So I wanted to get away from that. What I did find was a dry glove system from PSI. Nice little killer whale on there. And this is this is their total system right here. Okay. The nice thing I like about this is it's machined aluminum. And as well, if you can see right here, they have markings on the gloves. When the markings are lined up, the glove pulls apart. When the markings aren't lined up, the glove system stays on tight. Lined up, comes apart. Okay, again, machined aluminum. I like that. Okay, so I'm going to replace the Antares gloves off, or a cuff off my dry suit, put this on, and show you how the glove assembly comes out part as well. So, glove to the side, seal and cuff to the side. On the Antares one, I'm just going to pull it out. Okay, just like that. Take the seal off because the seal is still usable. And your seal has a smooth edge to it, and then it has a raised lip edge to it. So, the raised edge is What's going to, just like on the Antares system, is going to be folded over and fit into the grooves on here. So, the suit side of the cuff. So, get it to lay flat and with no wrinkles, nicely spaced, and then. You can pull your cuff down 
and give a little twist and then that gives you some nice even pressure through the whole edge of the cuff. Now for the ring there's no um, you want to orientate it in however you want the suit to fit or the glove to fit on. So I'm going to put the two red marks in line and before the camera I put a little chalk mark there on my suit so that I knew that that is the front or the leading edge where my thumb's going to come down in line. So I'm going to just take that, line that up. and put it on. Okay, that's the suit side done. It still gives me a replaceable cuff if I have a tear and hopefully dry gloves now. So the marigolds, I like to run my cuff a little bit shorter than that. So I'm going to take this one apart, adjust it to where I think I want it and we will find out. Um, obviously I haven't dove these gloves yet, but I will. <clears throat> so O-ring, O-ring comes off. Nice little tool that they provide. Okay, then there is an outside retaining ring that comes off like that. Okay, now if you go, if you like the PVC gloves, which I do, you can order this or order the glove system for the blue gloves or the PVC gloves or get the retaining ring for the blue gloves as well and then be able to use both of them. Um, these rings are a little bit more expensive than what you may want to pay though, so either way. It, it gives you options. Okay, so marigold glove. So there is an o ring on here holding the glove onto the cuff or onto the glove side of the ring, sorry. And just you want to keep these two rings, o rings separate or know which way they went because they may be a different size and thickness. I'm not sure but just save yourself some trouble. Okay, so I'm also gonna take the glove and turn it inside out. And then it gives me a nice white glove for dealing, just a little easier for doing hand signals for people to see. Now then, I'm just gonna take this and So I'm just going to mark it so that when I turn it, my thumb is going to be indexed to the right spot. Okay, so I want this index. To line up with my thumbnail. To put these on, put it back together, the raised ring is going to be the become the outside of the cuff. So I want that in, in the glove first. And then I'm just going to position it to where I want it or where I think I want it. Okay, once that's on, then I will take the O-ring again, put it back on the outside. Okay, and then just see how it looks. And then you're going to fold this over. Okay, that should look even. 
And then the retaining ring. Find your marks on it and line up the there's a tabs three tabs on it that give you the indexing for it so i want to line it back up once you have it lined up just give it a little push to get it to seat on the glove and hold the glove on take the ring put it back on and there you go. That is the glove and the suit. Now if I've done this right. So now with the cuff locked, or the, yeah, the cuff locked, my thumb is lining up with my shoulder. So hopefully that works. I'll do some dives and I'll let you know. Have a good day.